Hello guys. Oh, cyclist. Maniacs. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we will continue in our TUL tour. It is going to be about building P and its facilities and how to get there and about building H and about its facilities and how to get there. For example, our library, our study hall, rest hall, relax hall, canteen, buffet and so on and so on and so on. Long story short, a tour around TUL part 2 HP. Okay, let's start with the location. The building H and P are quite far away from the heart zone. So there are two options how to get there. If you are in hurry in the morning, just use buses to the uh, bus stop called Polyclinica because it's just in front of the building P. Uh, and it's the same for when you are going to building H. Do not use the bus stop called Chardemont Naměstí, even it's closer because uh, in the mornings there are some traffic jams and, and so on and so so you can be delayed for your lectures. Really leave the bus in the in the bus stop called Polyklinika. It's really better. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do it again. <laughs> but there is a second option. Uh, go by walk. And it's better, healthier, uh, more beautiful and just perfect so keep it in mind when you need to get to building age it's about 35 minutes by really nice walk uh, on the street of Husova and when you need to get to building P it's alongside Hearts of Reservoir so it's a really nice and lovely environment around you moreover there is one big advantage for a walk the buses in the mornings are really crowded and there are traffic jams around Liberec so if you will go by walk, it's better. It's, it's just better. Okay, let's say something about the building P. When you enter the building, there is a really lovely kiosk with a coffee, so you can try it out. And in the basement, there is new open student club. Uh, it is just like in the E-building, so you can try it out. Uh, there are some lectures for the Faculty of Economics and Faculty of Science, Humanities and Education. And for some more, but I think that's all. That's our Medicopter 117. Okay, I think that's all about the building P, so let's jump to the building H. Okay, here we are. This is the building H, which is my second, or, or maybe not, maybe third one, third home. The first one is Děčín, the second one are dormitories, and the third one is building H, because the Faculty of Economics is located there. Don't park your car like that. The Erasmus coordinator is located on the fifth floor, I think. So if, if you have some troubles, you will find her here. So let's have a look inside. If you want to return your book from the library, you can just leave it there. But before we will enter the building H, let's have a look where the printing center is. If you need to print something, for example, your thesis or something like this, uh, the printing center is located <laughs> hidden around two corners. If you enter the building, on the left side you can see the reception of the uni hotel. And on the right side you can find a buffet, not a buffet. And it is a really special one because it's the last place in Liberec where you cannot use credit cards. I don't know why. So if you are interested to refresh yourself, uh, prepare some cash or Isaac. Next to the buffet there is a canteen. Yes, we have our own. It's the smallest one, but uh, the best ladies are working there. In front of the canteen there are elevators. Uh, the third one is the special one for pedagogues and uh, workers of TUL, but the others are for us. Okay, let's talk about our library. It consists of reception hall, study hall, silent hall and relax hall. Uh, when you enter the library, you will see the reception. And when you have an Isaac, you have 
free enter to the library. If you don't have one, just go to the worker and they will help you. Uh, on the reception you can uh, borrow the book or return the book or you can also borrow some games for example, some board games or chess or something like this. Our library uh, has about I think 250,000 books. Of course they are not all of them there but uh, if you will find it on the internet or in the uh, in the register just you can ask for the book and they will like bring it to, to you. When you move on to the study hall, there is a scanner which is free of charge, you can use it as you want and uh, there are the books to borrow. Uh, there are two types of books, the first one is with the red stripe and when it has red stripe you cannot borrow it home. You can just borrow it and use it in the study hall or in the silent hall, but you cannot take it away. When you borrow it and you want to return it, just put it on the table and don't try to find the previous location of the book. Just leave it there and the staff will handle it for you. And, and the second one, when there is no stripe, you can just borrow it for home use. When you are in the study room, you can just borrow the books and read them there. Uh, and prepare for exams and, and so on so or just relax it, it is upon you but uh, you can like speak aloud there it's not like that you have to be quiet and sitting and not telling anything if you need a calm place just go downstairs because there is a, the silent hall and there is just calm and silence uh, in the silent hall there are also uh, international books for example, in German language, in Italiano, in French, in Russian, and so on and so on. Italiano. Italiano, exactly. <laughs> and the last part and the best part is uh, relax hall. And uh, there are some sofas and interactive TVs and microwave for your uh, homemade uh, lunches and so on and so on. And it's just the best because most of students are sleeping there, relaxing between the lectures, so try it out also. Okay, that's all for today. In case I forget something, I will summarize it on our website in some article. Uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook and on our second YouTube channel. And enjoy the best in carpet UL.